Hey, I'm Kalash and today I'm making a big crab. We are starting with a ball of foil and covering that with polymer clay. I'm going to skip how I made the top part since I'll be removing it later. I added a bunch of spikes to the turtle shell and blended them in. I decided I want to go with a more simple crab, so I cut and smoothed the top part. After that, I flipped it around and drew in some lines that got rounded, creating this weird shape. I don't know if any real crabs look like this, but I liked it. And I'm not really making a real crab anyway. Then I added a belly and little pieces where the legs are going to be attached. and created holes to attach the legs later after baking. I added some more details and at this point it was really reminding me of a moth for some reason. The top part got textured with a piece of baked clay that has some holes poked in it. And I added some bumps here and there. I put in his eyeballs and also added little mouth hands. For the legs, I covered a piece of wire with clay and separated it into sections. The front ones, of course, get claws. The legs got textured the same way as the crab. I also added little spikes and extra bumps to spice it up a bit. And then I added some clay in between the joints to hold everything together. The other legs got made pretty much the same way, only without the claws. I hate making many things that are the same, but at least it only has 10 legs. Hopefully, I never decide to make a centipede in the future. I never do this, but I decided to prime the clay with some gesso this time. I gotta say, I was pleasantly surprised with how nicely the lighter colors went on. The bottom got a beige color and the top was painted red. I later went over the bottom with a diluted red to blend it in a bit better. I really liked working on the legs because I could make some nice gradients, which is something I really enjoy while painting. I painted the eyes black and attached the legs with some super glue. I also painted the mouth red, making it look like it's been eating lipstick, so I later painted that a lighter color. For the base, I used some foam board and pretended to glue down some foam rocks, but they actually didn't stick at all. Taped around the base so the next steps don't get all over the sides. I mixed up some plaster, paint and Mod Podge. The color doesn't really matter, I used this yellow one because it was a paint that I have a lot of. I also added a bit of black making it this pleasant vomit color. I cut up some baked clay into smaller chunks that are going to be used as small rocks. I spread white glue all over the base and added little rocks and also covered everything with sand. After drying, I painted it black. and then went over it with a light brown dry brush. I really like how the base turned out, but sadly it's not really all that visible later. 
to hold the resin, I made a questionable plastic mold. Surprisingly, it held out very well. I also covered the gaps with some quick seal. Added the crab and gave him a nice bath. While that was drying, I made a little boy and his companion. I was originally planning to make this whole thing a bit differently, but I realized I don't have enough resin. But it might have been a good thing because I really hate this resin, it always messes something up, so I think it would have turned into a big disaster anyway. I made a little dog and also a rolled up sleeping mat. Painted the boy and also gave him some eyes, making him look pretty creepy. Hopefully I can improve my miniature humans in the future. The resin decided to create a thousand bubbles, which I don't really mind that much, but the sides also got messed up, which is pretty sad. I added some water texture gel on top to create some small waves. I also glazed all the red parts of the crab. To hide the messy bottom of the base, I covered it with some foam core that I painted black. I super glued the company on top of the crab, and that's it. I would also like to thank my newest patrons, Slave Zero, El Gesto, and Sad Manatee. Thank you so much for helping me make cool stuff. And also, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!